Oh, there. Oh. Okay. Oh, do I have to make you a... Um, a co-host of sorts? Yes. yes. All right, I made you one. I'll make Chris, Christian one. Excellent. Co-host. Yes. All right, I'm going to make it so every, you guys can all share. Multiple participants can share at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and everyone, don't forget, now that you're logged in, please take a screenshot so we know that you're here for attendance. Submit it to Canvas, please. And then we'll know that you're here. Okay. Thank you, guys. You can start whenever you, you feel like it, Christian. Whenever you feel ready, in a minute or so, or now. Uh, we can wait a little bit for people to log on, just in case. All right, and like what Christian said, we're waiting for just a couple minutes so people can log on. I know there's a couple of people that are coming still from Apple Junior that are finishing up some things they're doing for Diane. So it's good just to wait so everybody can catch the whole workshop, the whole, um, you know, the whole tamale. So let's wait till about 1.33. Does that sound good? So we'll wait for just a couple more minutes. Okay, and just briefly before we start, everyone remember to take a screen um, just to have evidence of your attendance here and submit it to Canvas, please. Thank you. I'm so glad we have a, a moment to do this workshop and take care of this because we're going to get to the point where we're doing all those shows and all those events. So um, we're getting all of this good work out of the way of making a more better promo. So thank you guys for all being here today. Okay, Christian, I'm gonna go ahead and let you um, take it from here. I think it's, it's time. All right, sounds good, okay. So hi everyone. As some of you may know, my name is Christian and um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about how our council promos should look throughout the year. So um, I think Ms. Pereira is going to screen share um, documents. Yes, perfect. Okay. So this is the basis for what we're going to be talking about and um, what we just need to focus on for creative promotions. So first, I wanted to highlight um, the prioritization of events that we need to promote. So there's a link on the document under prioritizing to a Google spreadsheet 
um, which highlights the list of occurrences that we should be posting about. Um, and I believe it's on the, the Apple Google Drive or the Apple Council Google Drive. Um, oh yeah, if you want to go to that. Yeah, so you can see that the ones that we're supposed to be promoting are highlighted in red, just so that there's no um, confusion about what we're expected to focus on. But um, as a general rule of thumb, the um, events are typically going to be promoted in chronological order. So just pay attention to upcoming dates. But this is here for um, just as an extra resource in case you need it. So um, as far as content goes, we really want to focus on getting to the point and making people interested in our events. So those are the two things we want to think about. So the who, what, when, where, and maybe even why <laughs> should be included in your promotions along with any other important information um, that's provided by the app office like links. So typically promos will already have a lot of those details, but we should make sure to update them if there have been any changes or if we need to add any necessary knowledge. Um, we also need to make sure that these promotions are interesting or creative in some way to catch people's attention. If we want others to be genuinely interested in um, or buy our posters we put on our social media or even on community boards, um, they should have some creative factor to them. So in addition to the Apple logos, whether it be the council logo or a department logo, de logo depending on the event, um, add some text or a funny image, anything to get people to look at your post. Keeping in mind, however, that these should always be school appropriate, <laughs> but I know you guys um, are doing great at representing Apple in a good light. So, Lastly, we wanna make sure that no platforms go overlooked. So I'm sure many of you have probably used Instagram or Snapchat um, for promotions, which is perfectly fine, but there are other great resources for us to gather attention. Um, I don't think I had even ever looked at Facebook until I thought about promoting promotions on there. So uh, don't be afraid to use new ways of advertising. Maybe even try texting your friends to come with you to an event. The whole premise behind our promotions is not necessarily to get Apple Council points, but we want to um, support our peers by encouraging people to watch their productions. So I think putting some time into making promos look professional is very worth it. Um, one other thing I wanted to make sure you guys know is that after you post your promos, um, you should turn them into Canvas immediately. Try not to wait until the end of the month to submit all of them. Um, that just helps the app of staff out. So that's a lot of the foundational knowledge that we need to create a good promotion. So we're gonna take a look at a few examples of promos which students have turned in and discuss the positives and negatives about them. Um, by the way, if you see your promotion on the screen and I criticize it, just know that yours was selected because it stands out in a good way. So be proud of it, even if there are some things to work on. So the first one, um, we see it's very eye-catching. Um, by the way, all of these are gonna be about the, the orchestra um, fireworks booth that we had recently. So the colors are fantastic, but what we wanna make sure we do with this one is to write cross streets in large text because that's the, the most important part I'd say about this promotion is that we want to know, or we want to let people know where they need to go to get these fireworks. So um, that's the only thing I'd say about that one. Um, Christian, can go I go ahead and can we stay on that one for just a second? Yeah. And okay, so let's talk about APA for a second. So we, APA Council, are promoting these events that have an APA edge to them. and. So I know it's Huntington Beach High School is having a fundraiser. I see that. But remember, it's this is going to and is of interest to APA people. And um, so really, there should be an APA logo on here. And like, say, APA Orchestra is having a fundraiser. And it's helping um, the band and Color Guard and this and that. But APA Orchestra. The, so because we want the musical theater parents to come and we want the acting parents to come and look at it with the, an, an APA eye. And also, I want you to remember, too, this year, 28 percent of APA kids don't go to Huntington Beach High School. OK, you dig. So you mean, you know, so that's um, it's not as interesting to them to come and buy fireworks there because it's Sunny Beach High School, but it is to support APA. All right, that's my five cents. 
All right, go on. That was um, a really good point, and that plays back into like the why. Although it's the why is very important because people need to know why they're supporting the app or why they should go to this event or why this even matters because um, it's going to support APA overall. And if, like Miss West said, um, Huntington Beach is having a fundraiser, well, maybe um, that's not going to drive people to come to the event. Maybe they want to know specifically that it's about um, APA Orchestra. So that's really important to point out. Um, so let's go to the next promotion that we're going to look at. Okay, so this promotion, um, is great because it does point out that it's supporting APA, but we want to mention specifically orchestra um, just so that we can bring a specific attention to what people are going to be um, supporting by going to the event. And again, the cross streets is important because that's where the firework booth is going to be placed and we need um, people to know where they're going to be going. So just to make things more clear um, and concise, that's the things that um, I would add to that promotion. And, and there's so much opportunity. There's that black space up above with the, I, I love the little firework bits that they have, the little sparkly fire. But that's like, oh my God, that calls out to me. There's area there to put something important. Don't just, um, don't waste it. But yeah, support Apple Orchestra. Maybe up there you at the top, you could put the cross streets bigger too, because Christian is right. The, it's already there down below, but if you were to put, the cross streets there, they couldn't miss it. All right. Yeah, and it's just about really highlighting the most important parts of each poster so that people are really interested in, in coming to the events. So let's take a look at the next. Okay, so this one um, is mine. <laughs> and it has some, I guess, attention, gra attention grabbing text, which is, I, I tried, I, I did try, but um, I made the mistake by not adding an Apple logo, which would have made it, um, I guess, more perfect. Um, we need to make sure that if we're doing promotions for Apple, we need to make sure that we're telling people it's about Apple. So if we're doing this um, for Apple Orchestra in this instance, but I don't add an Apple Orchestra sticker, then what's the point, you know? So we need to make sure that we're really acknowledging that this is from Apple. But we need to represent that. Um, in our promotions. So let's go to the next. I love the heart and I love all the little dot, dot, dots on there. My <laughs> eye, it makes me look at this twice. I love that. Thank I'm you. I'm glad. Yeah, we really just want to make sure that people are um, really attracted to this. Um, there's a question in the chat. How can we add an Apple logo to our Instagram stories? I was, me and Ms. Pereira were actually thinking about this yesterday and uh, you cannot add two pictures. However, we've decided that we're going to try to add um, the Apple logo to the promotions that we give you guys. So on this orchestra um, promotion that was given to us, um, it doesn't already have the Apple logo on it, but for future promotions, we're going to try to do that so that you wouldn't have to add it to your Instagram store. You can just focus on making it um, better. You can use, yeah, you can use outside apps. Um, we're going to talk about Canva in a second and about and how useful that is. So if you have any outside sources that you'd like to share, please do put them in the chat so that we can um, get some ideas going. OK, so and can we go also, to Nicole, did you make a folder? You and Christian made a folder with all the Apple logos, because you know there, there's one that's created for every single department. Yes. So, yeah, so maybe you can um, screen share that and just open those up and show people what they look like at some point. Yeah, I can show you right now just so like, well, before we get into the Canvas stuff, like okay. under the promos folder in the Apple Council Google Drive, you'll see the Apple logos. So it's right there and then we have all of them. So we have different colors too, just so you don't have to bother you know, with that. Can but you pull up the orchestra one? I want to see what that looks like. Yes. Okay. And so people will just um, copy that and put it on whatever they're doing. And they, they all have access to that. So everybody has access to that folder when you're using your school ID. We've given everybody on council access to that. And you know, another good thing to know too is you guys can use these for other things that you're doing in your APA class. If your teacher asks you to whip something up, if you're making a script, 
and you want to put the um, dramatic production logo on it, it's there for you guys to use. All right, Karen. Yeah, so just make sure that the logo ends up on your promotion somehow, if, if it's not already on the promotion that we give. Um, so this promotion is really great. It has great graphics, which I think is very important so that we um, get the attention of people who are scrolling past on Instagram really quickly so that they stop and look. Um, but it would be great, again, to mention that it is from APA Orchestra so people know what they're supporting and the cross streets again so that people know where to go to support this. Even though it is already on the poster, it's um, in pretty small. Like Miss West said earlier, if we could use that um, blank space at the top to add the tech or the cross streets, um, no one that that would be a great addition to this promotion. And I guess some people saying in the chat are saying in the chat that you can add um, another picture or two different pictures on Instagram. So um, I guess if if the promotions don't already have an Apple logo, then there you go. You can follow their instructions. Um, can you go to the next promotion, please? OK, this one, I really like this one because um, Instagram or Snapchat promotions are one thing, but going out and putting posters out is very, very a very cool idea. So it's a very creative photo, and it's very attention grabbing. Um, I would say on the poster that we need to make sure that the Apple logo or anything connecting the poster to Apple um, would be a great addition. But overall, it's a very great promotion promotion that we could um, look up to. I like it too. And if if they had all the information on it, if they had written the cross streets on there, even though I know they're already at the, they're kind of twirling posters at the actual um, booth. But if they were to write the cross streets on there and the Apple logo, they would could use that picture if they took a good enough picture of them with it. And that could be posted on Instagram or whatever. So, and get double points for that. Yeah. Um, and there's a question in the chat, where can we put posters around? So I had this question actually, and Ms. West said that um, around it, or in Huntington Beach High School, once it opens back up would be a great idea, but also community boards. Um, I know at Seacliff, some restaurants have community boards where you can put up uh, posters. And that's a great way to get um, interaction with our school. So yeah, anywhere that you think would um, really get some attention, that would Especially be- Especially over at Seacliff. We should be killing it at Seacliff. We should have a big old poster over at Mod and at Starbucks. Oh my God, we spend so much money over there. So why don't we, um, if someone, wanted to take that on and say, I'm always going to put it up over there. You know, uh, if someone would take that, they would have their all their promotions all wrapped up and, you know, and then take a picture of themselves with the poster up next to it at Mod. And then you post that and all of a sudden you get double pick points. So um, yeah, I love the poster idea. In regard to putting them around school, we're going to be working closely with ASB and we will be allowed to do them, but we have to get them um, there's like a stamp that has to go on them to get approved, but it's totally possible. But I'm with Christian. Let's go ahead and get out of our pond a little bit. And wherever we buy stuff, we should have posters in those windows. I agree. I agree. Um, so let's go to the next promotion. Okay, so this one is good because it has a very large picture. So the crossroads specifically are enlarged so that people know where they're going. But again, the, the Apple logo or the Apple Orchestra logo would be great. Maybe some text to get some interaction between the poster and the people who are seeing it, just so that it's a little bit personalized. Um, because that is another um, big factor in getting people's attention is personalizing it so that we're not just reposting the um, HP Apple's um, Instagram posts, but that we're also putting our own personal touch on it so that people uh, are inclined to go maybe because they know you or they just want to see you there or something like that. And so that you have your own touch on it. Um, Christian's right. Make it personal. And I don't mind it on the side or upside down. That's actually a marketing technique. So make them work <laughs> to read it a little bit. Yeah. 
this one, I think this one is really great because um, they went out of their own way to, um, I believe on Canva to make their own promotion, which is great. Um, and it, as you can see, it's very eye-catching. There are a lot of colors which make you want to read the whole poster, but um, the Apple logo would be very important on this one because again, we want to make sure that people know what they're gonna be supporting if they do choose to go to this event. But overall, this is a really great promotion, promotion that people can look up to. Um, is there a next one? Okay, so we have one example of an ideal poster which would have gone up for the um, fireworks booth. Um, as you can see, it includes text, personalized little like pictures up there. Um, it has the HB APA Orchestra logo. It has um, the cross streets. So there was a lot of time and effort obviously put into this one and it, it would have paid off to have something like this um, posted on our, our stories or even as a printed out as a poster and put on a community board. This looks really good. This hits it's hit hits all the points, you know? Yeah. So um, I believe we're gonna take a little bit of time to create a promotion for the bar, the the new student barbecue which is coming up. Um, I don't know if some of the APA staff wants to talk about that. Okay, about the so yeah. What's your idea? Are you going to have everybody make a separate one? Or are you going to do one in front of everybody um, for this promo? Or should everybody be making one right now and then share it? I think we could have everyone make their own, if possible, and have some volunteers share theirs. Um, I'm on a Chromebook, so I don't think I could even share my screen if I'm being honest. But, <laughs> but um, I think even if people don't um, choose to share theirs, I think it would be a good opportunity right now to take some time um, make a promo with all this fresh information in your mind and uh, post it, obviously, so that we can get some more um, attention towards the new student barbecue coming up. Right. Um, where so, do I get... Can you repeat that, please? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I didn't, I, I didn't mean to... Um... So where do I get the HP Apple logo? So like, I'm gonna try and make a promotion, but where should I like access it and like get it? So are you on the Google Drive, the share Google Drive? Oh yeah, Miss Nicole is playing. Yes, I am. Okay, so there should be a promos folder, I believe in it, is that correct? Oh, okay, is it there? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it should be somewhere in the drive. It was a good question. A very good question. <laughs> right here and then under Apple logos. Yeah. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, did I answer this one? Well, Viv, um, Vivian had a really good point. Okay, so we created a Canva account just for Apple Council. All right. And the reason why we did that is so that you can create them in there, you can save them here, but um, we can go back and use them. We can edit them. Or if somebody says, hey, I want to use that one. It looks so good. Can I use th that version of yours? And let me add a couple things to it. We can easily do that. Because as you know, if you don't do it that way, then um, you, the editing um, is more, much more limited. You have to do you know, a whole other direction. So we encourage everybody to uh, be part of the App Book Council Canva. Yeah, so if you guys haven't already joined the Canva, please do that um, at your soonest convenience. But um, uh, we're going to take some time on Canva or any other, um, any other website or app that you use to decorate um, promotions to make some for the Apple New Student Barbecue. So maybe you can use that poster that Miss Nicole is showing on the screen and um, add to it with some stickers. Or you can create your own totally from scratch um, promotion. So it's your choice, but we're going to take a few minutes to do that. If anyone wants to share after that, then they're more than welcome to. And I hope they do. I hope you're brave and you do want to share it because that we all learn from that. Um, Christian, you said something that was really, really clever. Um, you were talking about Facebook. You're saying, I don't use Facebook much, uh, you know, and we all know it's the mom's 
and it's other people, teachers maybe that use it, but isn't that interesting? So think about that. Your what is marketing? Marketing is you have something that you want to sell and you need, you have specific people you want to sell it to, whether it's going to a show, whether it's a thing. And so you want the best place that they're going to see your advertisement or your promo. So Facebook in this instance works really good. Okay. That could be, that's a platform that's, that you're not necessarily on, but moms are on other people are on kids from other schools are on it. They, they check in for whatever. So don't, um, don't just, um, don't just close down on a platform because it's not your favorite. Do your favorite and do all these other ones too. So, um, yeah. Yeah, it's Nicole, all about maybe you want to maybe you want to build one in front of us, Nicole. And and does anybody have one that they want to share right now? So, Nicole, let's have you share one, and why don't you make it personal? Yeah, I can build one. I'll build a simple one on Canva right now. Okay, cool. I don't know. Let's try it. First. And you're doing it on the Apple Council Canva, so yes. you're you're taking it through. So, if you wouldn't mind. Say what you're doing and where you're finding it and stuff. Okay. Well, I first found the new student barbecue graphic under the folder that's called, I think it's called event graphics. Hold on, my Spotify is trying to, Apple event graphics, that's the one. So I got the official flyer and I'm thinking, well, it has so much info. I can use this as a basis and then maybe put a couple important informational texts um, around it just to grab people's attention or like, direct them towards the link, which would also be good because it's super important on this flyer. So I don't know, let's go. Okay, so we're in Canva and I'm gonna create an Instagram story. Most people like to do that. It's probably the one we're gonna post. I'm gonna upload the bar queue. Here's the flyer. See, and so this is a great place to start. So it's like, okay, most of the work's already done for us. Try to make it as huge as possible. Here we go. It's like, what does it need? Barbecue stuff. Just add a couple graphics. Why not? Veggies or meats, whatever that is. We'll put it here to grab attention. <laughs> Just put it on the side. Here's a skewer. You guys can also use, you know, the stickers are pretty awesome. It's like, this guy has a huge veggie skewer. Hilarious. So funny, right? <laughs> well, we could do this and then we'll just copy it. We'll do a couple of them. Be fun. And then down here, what's really important, arrows. We love arrows. Since this I love me some arrows. Oh, we love arrows. Here in the office, we use a lot of arrows. But we want multiple. Can we do like three arrows? Ooh, this is good. See this. And it doesn't have to take you too much time. You know, just kind of have a little vision in your head. Ooh, I want arrows directing people to the link. And then we'll do a bunch more. So people understand. Maybe a line. Maybe a line sticker. How about that? So people know that's where you register. Well, that's white. It doesn't work very well. Trial and error. How about this? There you go. See? So people understand the link is right here. Hey, why don't you have those skewers pointing at the link? Skewer arrows. <laughs> <laughs> sure. They're getting lost. Yeah. You just got it. You know, it's just, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have fun. Paint in the old days, but it's like that. Oh, a logo. But which logo? Do we want the student council logo? Yeah. Let's see. Let's do black. Oops, I don't want to print it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Download. We put a logo. People know this is official. Student council is going to be there. See, and this is, I mean, this is a little funky, but you guys kind of understand. And then background to really grab people's attention. Elements. Background. Sky. Send them back. 
Ooh, fun. Easy peasy. And you can download it. I'm sure you guys already know this on Canva. You can download it as an MP4 video. So you could directly upload it to Instagram. You could add more GIFs and GIFs or GIFs or graphics. You could do that in Instagram itself, but you can also just download the video here and then you have the video forever. Or you could download a ping. But since I have stickers, why not MP4? And it takes a while, but that's it, guys. Not too much time. But it's a completely, it's a completely new, it's a new little guy. So think about it. There are other apps, like you guys were saying too, that's not just Canva, but anything you guys like. You know, Brandy looks at these and she's the one that logs the, the points and everything. So she made a good point the other day. She goes, she wants to make sure that everybody is actually posting it. And then you're going to take a screenshot of it as it's already posted. Not like you just created something and you take a picture of that and send it, but you're going to post it to your account so we can see that you've done that. And then that is what you're going to upload to, to Canvas. And the other point is, so you do this, take another minute and go onto Canvas. Don't wait. And you're going to get your points right then and there. Do not wait until the end of the month. You are going to grab your points as you go. There's a couple of reasons for that. I don't want you to lose points by forgetting something, but also you want to get it in on time because we will not, they're not going to be able to accept it after the, after 11 PM on that closing night or whatever, but also the reward system. We're planning these trips and we're doing these things like to Madcap Motel and we, you know, some, some different dinner events. And then at any given minute, when these opportunities come up, we're going to want to see what everybody's points are because we're just going to say, okay, top 10 people are going. And then that's who it is that ex exact moment. And it will not be the 30th of the month. It might be the 15th. So get your points in as you, as you do them. A couple quick words about why do we do these? Why do we do promos? Can somebody there that's um, that's here uh, take yourself off mute and say what? Why do we do promos? Rosalyn or Vivian or Celeste, tell me in your own words. Take off your mute and tell me why do we do promos? What's that all about? We we do promos as APA Council to spread the word about events going on, um, like anything that's happening APIC related, not only APA Council related, but like APA related in general. And also it gets the word out about APA Council too. Cause I feel like if you see that you're like, oh, well, how do they know all this? So then I feel like it really attracts people to council as well, um, besides attracting more people to our shows and events. I love that. I love that. The fact that it's, you're right. We're tooting our own horn. We're kind of, ha we're showing our Apple Council presence in addition to marketing and promoting our shows. That's really good. Anybody else? Okay. So I like Christian saying they should be creative. You're not going to just put up the darn graphic that, you know, that somebody else made. You're going to put your own little twist on it and you're still going to make it easy to read and have all the fine points but also we want to make sure that we are branding um things correctly do you know um wh what comes to your mind when we talk about branding what is branding jasmine your dad brands his his band all the time i see you guys doing stuff on on different social media things so Talk to us, what is branding in your mind? Oh yeah, branding is all about um, putting yourself out there. So like when we include the HB Apple logo, like making sure we include that on every like promo, um, we know like everyone seeing it knows that it's connected to APA and it like just makes it, makes us look good and stuff. Absolutely. 
So their eye goes on that logo. They see a style of the graphic and then they know it's APA. So it's, yeah. And you know what? We in the APA office even have a hard time with keeping our logos straight. Like we have the logo, the number one logo that we're supposed to use right now. And then there was a logo that we made 10 years ago. And then there's even older logos that are in our, our, um, in our file of logos. And we always have to be careful, use the same logo. Do you know that there's an APA school in Garden Grove? It's an academy of performing something, something, something. So yeah, we need a point of difference, but we need a point of everything being the same and we're, the branding, they want to, we want them to know who this ad is for. So that is good. Um, anything else? What, are you, what do you guys think is important that maybe we haven't talked about or that we need to talk about more when doing these promos? Well, I see Vivian's um, comment too. She remembers reading something saying marketing is drawing people in and branding is keeping them there. That's a very good point. So marketing is you're going to find your audience and the branding is you keep, you're putting it out there so that they keep coming back and they know where to find APA. They know that that is APA. I'm going to go and see that show or go to that event or go do that fundraiser. Okay, Christian, what else do you have in your um, in your bag of agenda items and things that we're talking about? What else should everybody know or that you would like to reiterate and make sure everybody walks away with? Um, I don't have any more agenda items, but I really want to make sure that people understand how important these promos are for supporting our peers, um, supporting the other people in APA, getting people to come to their shows, um, just supporting open. The, the overall APA program so that um, pe the people in our community who are going to, you know, are going to enjoy these shows that our students are producing know about it. So just put a connection between um, our students and the overall Huntington Beach community. That's right. Those are good points. And I like how you're saying these people you're doing, you are doing a service. You are doing them a favor, the, the audience members and the community members getting the, the message out because people still, uh, they wanna to come to the shows and they gotta know where they're at. So you are being of service. It's, you're not just, this is not just drudgery at, oh, another app of promo. Genuinely, we are doing a service. I like that, Christian. Okay. So does anybody have a promo that they've made or they're working on for the barbecue that they would like to share? So today your homework is you are going to go ahead and make a promo in your own time today, tonight, whenever, in your pajamas, in the middle of the night, I don't care. And you are going to um, go ahead and, and do your thing and, and get it out there. And then you will um, also upload that to, to Canvas and get your points today. Okay. And if you remember, you guys, your original agenda, and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll repost it on the Remind. The original agenda has all of the links on it for Canvas, for Canva, for signing up for different things, different resources. So we'll send that out again today. All right. And also, I'm going to send out um, Christian's little, the little write-up that Christian and, and uh, Nicole did that will go over the points that we we um, did today. If you have a friend on council that wasn't able to make this, um, tell them we're recording it and we're also going to post a link to this so that they can um, reference it and you guys can reference it too. If you want to look and see what that file path was on the Google Drive, um, that, you know, it'll be all within what we looked at and talked about today. Okay. Anything else for the good of the group? Are we good? All right. Well, thank you guys all for coming today. Really appreciate it. And um, don't forget, get your points, turn it into Canvas today that you were here. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to Christian. You did good. Woohoo.
<laughs> Good job, Christian. <laughs> Woo! Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye, Kate. Bye. 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 Okay. Awesome. All right. I'm going to begin. And um, we're going to see what everything, I bet we're going to have some really good promos that come in. So thanks again to Christian and Nicole for doing this. You guys were yeah. Um Okay, excuse me, if I have questions, um, who do I contact about those questions? Um, you can, um, what do you think you mean about promos and stuff? What you can do yes. is you can go ahead and, and um, contact Nicole directly. Okay. Yourself, or you can respond into the re remind ring. All right, so the, okay. that remind that I send out stuff on, and then I will go ahead and send that question out to um, Christian or Nicole, and then they'll respond to you from there on remind. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye, thank you. You're welcome, bye-bye.